And we're back. And we're back. And we're back. You see what's good? So, what does do say? Dar. For 204, raised dollars. But we say, uh, we say it otherwise when the Roche Tevos is like something that could be, that could have the opposite of good implications, like rage, like go down. So we say dar to dwell. And uh, Shir is in the schuz of the soldiers and the and the captives uh, for Siata um, Deshmaya. Amen. And so yesterday we were like, I was like, yo, we got a bunch of Gemaras that I wanted to see. And so part of learning Be'iyun is sometimes seeing Gemaras in other Masechtas. And maybe we've like done oh shkayach. Maybe we've done like we've seen another Gemara like once in Shir, twice like one other Gemara. But now today, I wanted to I wanted to analyze that that two day yantif. Why do we do it? Even though we already have a chesh phone, even though we already have a and maybe we'll have to move it later. Okay, we'll see how much battery I have. Thank you so much. Maybe I'll move over here. No, it's okay. You can see me. You can see me. You guys see me? You guys ever see an MC that breathes so freely? I see you. Ease over these beats. MCs don't see me. How could one Sandra be so leavy? Okay. Um, I have not listened to the new Eminem album in full yet. I couldn't make it through Evil, Lucifer, and Anti Mashiach. I couldn't. Uh, Could make it, all right. Maybe one, maybe one day. All right. Okay. I'm shaking because we're about to do some Ian. Okay, so I have my shots back from the days of Rachamim. I mean, some before that. And look, I wanted to show the island. DVJ, do you see these pictures? Uh, yeah, me, is, that, is that new? No, th- I drew this when I was in cuffs in an Israeli jail. And I drew a self-portrait. Nice. In cuffs in the Israeli jail. And this was I, this was the guy who was who was like asking me all those questions. Okay. And then I put then I taped it on my shots for some reason. Okay. So the first Gemara we're gonna see today. Is you guys say it's a Gemara? Yeah, it's a Gemara. It's a taste this in Sukkah on Daf on Daf Mem Dalid Amud Beis. Ah, a Gemara in Sukkah. Ah, oh, the Revitage Shkayach Gado. She brought a party. Without this party, she would have ended in moments. So. Shali Vishalachem Shalai. But also Shal DVJ Vishal Zigiri Zalman because everyone who comes to share it helps with is 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 a chalek. It has a chalek in the Tyra. But the Rebitson supplies your power source. Yeah, the Rebitson, the Rebitson, the and me were, you know. Isto Kagufo level, you know what I'm saying? Um, okay, so the Rebbitzin has helped the Yeshiva come to this 204th year. And so 
it's also in it's also in his first, you know. Every and, day's um, a new shekiyana. Bro, we should be zaycha. We should be zaycha. Amen. Okay. So, Tosvos in Sukkah, Dibra Maska, Khan. What? No, can't be. It doesn't exist. Mandalit, uh, doesn't exist, I was saying. Oh, wow. So, this is a big taste, this. It's talking about Khan be Mikdash, Khan be Gvulin. So, now, they, they, they caution, be careful. With minag avoseichem, with the minag, the the custom of your fathers in your hands, oh hisaru. So the question is, who gave, who said be careful? Who said hisaru? Which, by the way, is um, lashon of zehiras, the first level of the mesiros yisharim. So the Gemara says, "Kan be Mikdash, kan be Gvulin." So this is a Gemara in Sukkah, Mem Dalad Amar Beis. Let's see the Tosfos, or let's see the Gemara. What do you guys think? I think let's see the taste of this. That's what the that's what it told us about. So let's just see the taste of this, and we'll see what we can do. We'll see if if this Tosfos how relevant it is, if it's relevant, etc. Okay. Come and make this come close. In Mikdash, the Lachim Rosh Mesina, be Kavulin. Okay. So I kind of, okay, I, I kind of want to know what the Gemara is talking about. When you're in the Gemara, in the Gemara, when you taste this, in the taste this. Okay. The Hammer of Yochanan, Dilchon, Amri of Dilchon, he, Bokasha, Kaba Mikdash, Khan, the Gavulin. Rashi says, Allah will most misdirai, and Gavulin is the sword of Nevi'im. What are they talking about? So I know, do, do not despair, because we will know exactly what it's talking about. But let's see the taste list. Let's see what taste this. So it says, The Mikdash, Allah will most misdirai, and the Gavulin. It's a machlokas. Rabbi, the Rabbi Yochanan says it's Yisod Nevi'im. So this chapter is called Lula Rava. It's talking about the Mikdash and the Gavulin. Maybe it's talking about the fact that Sukkah, the, the Lula was taken for seven days in the Mikdash, all seven days of, of Sukkot in the Mikdash. And only and in outside of Eretz Yisrael, it was only the first day for Lulav, right? So, he says, in the Mikdash, it was Allah HaLemosh Misinai. So you guys know, Allah HaLemosh Misinai is, is like a tradition of a Sora that Moshe learned it from the mountain of Sinai, which is an interesting phrase, right? Allah HaLemosh Misinai, why did they uh why did why did they say from Sinai or I guess from the place where he learned it from Hashem, right? And in Gavulin is about locus. Rabbi Yogana says it's the Asod is in the V and that the source, the foundation for the idea is in the prophets. Rabbi Shubin Levi Abar Shubin Levi says it is Midag Navian. It's not the foundation is the Vim, it's the Midag of the Navian. So now we're seeing why this is relevant because we're talking about minag of osechem biadechem. Be careful with the minag. So we're talking about minag. Uperish bekunturish. Raji explains the navgamina. The navgamina is the e takanahi. If it was a takana. Okay, so what's the difference? A minag is a tradition. A takana is something that Chazal said you have to do. Kipa is just the minag. You know? Because. Chazal never commanded us to cover our hair. But you can be Moser Nefesh on a Minag also. But we got to know what's what. So it's not a Takana. So if it was a Takana, he, Baya, Bracha, you would need to make a Bracha. 
And if it's a minag, lo baya. You don't need to make a bracha. You know, a bracha, right? You make a bracha before you put on a, ki- a, t- a kippah? Do you? Ah. Minag, you don't need a bracha. To lake of the name of it's kibadu, because what are you going to say? Oh, bracha, that's not going to be a You commanded me to wear a kippah. So it's going to be like, oh, make a tasty. Where did I command you? I don't know if Raji's saying this like Mirag Bahalma, like so like you know, but it's just a Mirag in the world that the nation was manic, that they did knowing that they were knowing that they had the custom to do. They say, what does that mean? This is an answer. If you don't listen to it, there are about You say, well, what am I doing? It's just a there are What about listening to a bunch of rabbis? And you can start clapping away and say, it's only there are You can answer and say, yeah, but it's, it's a there are of Los Sazor. On this there are but still, it's, it's a there are not to go, you mean, or small. Right, except that when you know you mean is you is that they're saying you mean as small small as you mean. But sometimes I thought they were saying you mean small small you mean when they said don't go to the army. I was like, what are you talking about? It's obviously a mitzvah, and it is a mitzvah to fight for Am Yisrael, but to put ourselves for again to put themselves under the pigud of of Satanists. Everything at the right time, right? So it's just the minag. And there's not even Los Sasor. If you don't wear a kippah, you can't even say, oh, you're the is there, there a rice of Los Sasor because you're not listening to our Darabanan. Because guess what? There's no, there's, there's no there's even even Darabanan to wear a keep. Right? And this, right? So the same thing, by the way, second day Yantif. There was never a Gezeira. Chazal never said do a second day Yantif. The Chaira. It's just a minag. It's unbelievable. We have to see what the Shulchan Aruch and the Rambam are passing that they have to do it. Oh, it's the Rambam actually passing, we said yesterday, that he gets Malchus Midarabana and Malchus Marzo. So, wait, so if he does, if that's correct, so then wait a second, they're giving him Malchus Marzo, so then maybe a person can get Malchus Marzo for not doing a minag, or maybe it's like a minag that became like a chia. We have to see. We have to see the different minhag. minhag. Also, another minhag, another minhag is kidney You have to see what's the kayak, you know? There's not a good low sasor. If a person needs kidney oats and yadif, it doesn't even, it's not even this is their abundant of low sasor. If he's asking us. The cheyna read up his sabach and they say close, tabit, tabit, cc. The low barich. It doesn't make a, because I've already thought, that's Minag. So we thought it's Minag Nevi'im. So you're saying, Shmuel, we don't know what it's talking about, Minag Nevi'im or Yisod Nevi'im. Yisod Nevi'im is Takana. Minag Nevi'im is not a Takana. It's just a condition. The Yesh Medagdikin, Mitoch Kach, the people who are Medagdik, the low Nevarchinon, Ahala. Ah, ah. This is so Geshmak, yo. You guys, Hashem, don't you see how Hashem is like guiding us in these Sugyan? So I hope that. It's good, and the people who are looking on will will be like, "Oh, I'm happy Shmuel did this because I can kind of see." Okay, so it says the yesh midag to give me dokach the lo mevarchin on ahalal the rosh chodesh. You shouldn't make a brach even on halal rosh chodesh. Why? To ano elam midag ba'alba just the midag talking about talking about making a halal brach on halal yom ha'smoot. What about making a brachat halal? Ah, Noach, shalom. So, talk about making a brachat, Yom Atmo, talk about making a brachat halal. Ah, Noach, shalom, meor. Hey, shalom. Oh, that's good to see you. I got him. Yeah, what's that? I'm coming hooks, but um, I'm making it, so. <laughs> listen, listen, we're very happy to see you. We're, we're, we're harvying and tasting. And we're talking about Hallel, you make a bracha when you say Hallel on Rosh Kodesh. Ah, yeah, okay. Getting back in the This is the middle. Which is like the sukkah? Okay. No, so we're learning Beitzah. 
but we're Based going to Ian on this idea of Yom Tov she, of of Yom Tov Sheni Shalgalios, and it says that even though there's no reason to do two yandis because it's already kavir the yarcha, my daima of dinan tre yomi tov yomi. Why you can't do two yandis? Because mishum shalchu mitam. They said from there, he zaharu. Be careful. But minag of osechem be adechem. But the minag of your fathers in your hand. Zimni the gazu hamalchus. Sometimes the shibur malchus makes the gezera. The us do us you calculate, and they'll come and they'll be mekalkel somehow. So we're like, wait a second, shibur malchus over here. That's the reason mm. that we're so careful of mitzvahs, that like the Roman human sun worshiping heliocentric and solar systems of the are not going to be the Calgo. So, we're, so it's very important to be to to uh, to be nightgate and to be careful of the Minag. So we're like, let's mm. see some other Mikoros talk about Minag. And so here they're talking about Minag. And are you saying that about, it's Shibuya's Melchior Slift the Minhag or without the Minhag? No, it's saying, it's saying that it's saying that the reason that you should be careful with minag is because sometimes mm. the malchus, the ever say that every time they talk about malchus, talking about the malchus harasha that we say every day la malchus malchus tigva, etc. etc. Ule malchus arisha karega tovein or karega yaker. I think these different gears and different uh, different people, but they are their gezeras might like. Make things confusing and like it might make a person and hard for the simple people. Yeah, so you always have the midag. Mm. So as I have a desire on the midag. Speaking of midags, I'm gonna do a big mysterious nephew for midag here. We take off my hat and I'm gonna put on my kippa, which is a midag. Okay. Huh? Huh? <laughs> oh me. I missed right. your stuff. Oh my God, it's an agent. <laughs> All right, so okay. um, so we're saying that Halal and Rosh Kodas, Eno Ela Minak Baalma, it's just the Minak in the Mugach, Perak Basar to Titus, like we see in the last Perak of Titus. Rav Iklo the Bavel, Rav got to Babylon, Hazu de Karu Halal Rosh Hashanah Rosh Kodas, and he saw that they're reading, that they're they're reading. They're, they're reading. Halal verse one is Tavar Leaf Sukinu. Excuse me. And he's like, maybe I'll stop them. Tavar to come and dalgi the Asli. He saw that they were like kind of skipping around. Amar Ramina Mirag Avosechem Biadechem. Ah. Ah. I say thank you to the Mesorah Tashas. Who sent yeah. us to this taste man. over here? So he says, "Shema we see from there that it's that it's a minag. That why they saying oh, well, they're skipping around. That's their minag. So what did they say? The other Kama Rabbi Yochanan has. So the Rabbi Yochanan said over there, Yud Ches Yom Yachid Gomer as a hala that there are eighteen days that there are eighteen days that a Yachid finishes the hala on that mm. and it, and it goes." There are twenty-one. Yo, lo mishum dilihavi achrini takana shiu korin bedilug. It's it's not that they were different. That someone like made a a takana a decree that they will be reading skip reading hala but not reading the whole thing. You know, sometimes we skip around and we don't read. Um, Lolanu, I don't know, Lolanu, etc. So, um, so you go over with you like Ella Yakir Gomer, the person can see stuff. How do you go Yakir Gomer at Le Orche? He reads himself, Dasha, right? He reads, he just reads it, he reads all okay. Dasha's Mistoy, the Shaz is talking over here. Kiahi is talking about a different case, anyways. The Tanya, because it says in a the Tanya, oh, Brisa, 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 very good. No, you know the difference. How you know the difference between a Mishnah and a Tanya, a Mishnah and a Brisa. Uh, I know, but yeah, you know, um, the Mishnah is the official text. Very quick way, kind of... a very quick way. Yeah. If it says two nuns, the Tanan, it's a Mishnah. Mishnah. If it says yeah. one nun, the Tanya, it's a Brisa. Uh, okay. We we do Chazara on this every time. Okay. Good, yeah. Um. 
No, no, it's good because I already know the word. Have the uh, if you have sukkah, you can look inside with us in the toast for us. Yeah, the sukkah is in an everyday But it's okay. I'm right trying now. to yeah, show. Yeah. Yo, do you think that does it, is it helpful that I'm showing you the word here? Oh, very helpful. Yeah, because if I had the oh, safer, I would I would be in it, but I do not. Right, no, it's right? perfect. I'm so happy. Okay, so she says the shaz is mishtoy. The shaz is talking over here. Yeah, he did Tanya, like it says in a rice. Uh, Paragama de, de Brachos, the first barrack of Brachos. You know, you want to look in, oh, well, we don't have a sukkah, but we do have another sukkah over there, or Revitson, I can get you. There's a sukkah, if you find one of the shots that I finished, I'm sure there's a sukkah over there, and you can actually see the socials inside with us. Um, Let me see. Now, I might be able to look it up online. Which daf are you on sukkah? Mem Dalit Amr Beis. In this brisa, in the first parak of of brachos, it says vasikin. The people who were the vasikin, like the early who comes down Nate's the early people. Nate's people, exactly. Yeah. How you go, Marim, also, in my Nate, in Nate Takama, with the Nate. Exactly, you know what I said. Bravinus Davo, Bravinus Dam says, the Ain Raya me Arava le Halel. So there's no Raya from Arava. So maybe the Midag is like beating the Arava or something, but from Halel. You can't compare the two cases. Mem Dalit Amadez. The Arava. Aina Ella Tiltal, the, the Arava, are we talking about carrying the Arava? It's just carrying, just Tiltal. We gave him the love to Gunta. He knew him to the Gezera about carrying on Yantif. Ella Min Haga, Lokashiv, the Mikva, La Brachas. This is just a Min Haga. Oh, maybe he's talking about beating the Aravos. Now we really have to see what we're talking about in the Gemara. I know you guys are like, you guys are like, Shmua, you're going to see the the, the tone slows without seeing the Gemara first? How could you do such a thing? The answer is, because that's what they, we were sent. We were sent to the tape list. Hmm. We're just trying to see sources about the about Minog. And that means to be a big Tosvos. Ah, but then he actually goes to our Tosvos over here in Beitza. Okay. So listen, we're seeing a Tosvos today. It happens not to be a Tosos in base, but Tosos that talks about the Sugya. This is because we're learning the Eon. We're learning in depth, and we're doing our best. A person who's reading Halal, he's still reading the Halakha words of C.C. Mish, of the C.C. Tehillim, right? He's still reading Tairach So they're like, fine. So you're not going to make a Bracha when you... Do a minag with they call it arava. Maybe they're talking about the minag of beating the aravos, mm. abliving shver. I don't know what the gemara is, but whatever the minag is with arava, it's just it's in a tilto, abliving shver. But by halal, it's not worse than reading Torah, right? But the kavaseh and it's I'll show you another case. I'll show you another case where we make a bracha on a minag. I'll show you another case. The second yante, stay on him tovim of Goliath. Ain't a ella minhag be alma. It's just the minhag, like it says in the Zechis Beitza. Ah, the Zechis Beitza will give it a yellow sticker. I was thinking about giving it a green sticker because it's sukkah, but then we're coming here because of the Zechis Beitza, so I'll give it a yellow sticker. I, by the way, maybe had ideas of why I made all of these colors back in the day, but like obviously, it's not like, oh, let me just over here, yeah. Okay. Because these are very common debates of me who ain't me Zeraya. But it's not really a proof that you can just go making brachas on Minog. Um, ain't me Zeraya. The heart I'm a the ain't me Varkin Arava. The reason you don't make a bracha on this mysterious case of Arava, Lamanda of our Minog Nevi'in, according to the guy who says, because it's not a, a, Chiv of the Vim, but it's just the Minag of the Vim, whatever the Minag is. Mishum the Lo Evsha Lomar Vitsivanu. 
You can't say Vitsivanu. Who bit that the base yom dovim shall goliath, but the base yom div of goliath, the two yom divs, ain't by him the tivanu ella kiddush. There's no vitivanu, the we're not commanded to do the second day. Ella kiddush, that's karas hayom. The tefila, the kiddush is to remember the day in tefila, ubir has a muslim and benching. Right, so. They don't have it, Tivanu. Ah, you're gonna make a bracha on on the aravos, whatever whatever the case the aravos is. You're gonna make a bracha on it, but it's just this is the minag. Do they wait? Do we make a bracha on 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 on, on, on second day Yandel? Yeah, but we don't make a shir kiddushanu if it's not have Tivanu anywhere. We just, we make Kiddush and we mention it in Davening, but we don't mention it in Vitsivanu. And since we don't mention Vitsivanu, it's not a problem. So it's not similar. You can't prove that we make brachas on Minag from that. Let's go as the Yod. The Yimish is the Yod at the Kiyash Tova Riyom Tov Shein Yisra Rosh Hashanah. I. What about the fact that we make a bracha shirk and yishanim with David Zivanu al tekiyah shayfar on the second day of the Adif, which is only a minag? And so, how can we say that you commanded me to blow shofar on the second day of Rosh Hashanah? The second day of Rosh Hashanah means right? It's cold, right? Um, the Rosh Hashanah hanu takanta ninu v'chamiri beis yomim tovim shogalios. And so it's a takana. That is a takana. The difference, and 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 uh, Noah, we've been learning mm -hmm. about the difference between the two days of Yantif and Galas of all of the other Chagim, and the difference between Rosh Hashanah. That Rosh Hashanah, because it's the first day, even at the time when they were being the Kadesh, the Chaydesh, Al Piriya, they were still, yes. they were still Machmir to do two days. And so it's a special takana. It's not the same as as um as it's more machmir than the two days of Yantiv of Galios. And where do how do we know that it's more machmir for the Indian of Beitza, which is the Masechta that we're actually learning that which is today you caught us on a beautiful Indian day. We're so so happy. Um, the Indian Beitza kedusha achas ninu. It's one kedusha. So that means that ah, that yes. means that. If an egg is born on the first day of Yantiv, of, of, of mm. Pesach in America, mm. you can eat it on the second day. You might have shocked. Even because, and the Gemara explains it. But when it comes to Rosh Hashanah, if you can eat it, if it's born on the first day, you can't eat it on the second day. It's a more machmir dikka takana. It, it's not just a minag, it's more of a takana that we were, we, we were kept two days, even when they were seeing the, 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 the moon and saying, oh, I see the moon. And, and they were lighting fires to tell people yeah, yeah. when is the moon and sending messengers. Still, so they were... Then, you know? <laughs> yeah. Wild stuff. So that's why Rosh Hashanah yeah. is a different story. And and the and an egg, right? It's a beza. Hizaru, and be careful with the minag, and be careful with that minag. They explain it. The old minag, they created the Tavis, and his brothers, Barak, I have the Maisi, right? The end, Mav Sikim, Ba'alel, Mirav, Bar, Mirav Bar, from this rabbi named Rabbi Bar, he brings a proof that you don't split the middle of halal. Shabbat the igla the bay, or maybe Rav Bar Shva, Rav, Rav son of Shva. The igla, he got to the to the house of Ravina, Biyamim, Shein, Ayachid, Gomer, and there's a halal. Velo Ibsik, there's something about halal. Okay, I feel like I feel like we did that. Tosfos, we saw that he mentioned us. We saw that, we saw other examples. The reason this Tosfos was, was huge. It's because we saw other examples of minhag. Sometimes we make a bracha and sometimes we don't. But this idea of minhag of Oteichem Biyadechem. We have more taste business to see a more gemaz. We have the taste business in Pesachim and Avnun Aleph Amud Beis Dibar Maschil Kagon and Sukkah Mem Gimel Amud Aleph Dibar Maschil Lo and so Tosfos in Tainus. But I'm saying let's see the other Tosfos in Sukkah. You know we're 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 we're, we're ligging around in Sukkah. Let's leg Orion in Sukkah. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So, this is 
מן אגב אשתיכם בידיכם. ודוס ווז, דיברו בסריל, לא, אוקיי, לא איכלה, אוקיי. So he didn't come, what? They like the Iklas are to arrive. Ki Azda Rabin Mikol Nechusi Amri Ikla, he says he did come. Velo Dachi, he didn't push it away. The Elikash Jawar of Yosef Ma'an Lema, the Arava Nidlis, ah, Minitila. So here we got, we found the Arava, right? This chapter is called Lulav the Arava. Let's see the, Let's see the Mishnah. Let's see the Mishnah. Oh, Shalom Aleichem, Avi, Mighty. Lula Ve'arava, Shish Avishava. So Lula Ve'arava is six days and seven days. Say the Mikdash, Kol Sheva, then the Mikdash all seven days. Lula Ve'arava, 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 Mizbeach. Ah, so Arava wasn't beating the Mizbeach, but it was doing... Um, It was doing um, Hoshanos. Dad, we're talking about making brachas on minhags today. And we saw a Myra Dictatus in Sukkah. And we saw most of it. Right? And he talked about the minhag of Asechem B'yadechem. We talked about different, brach, different minhags that we seem to be making brachas on. You know, we don't make a bracha on, no. Keep off. And he's gone. Okay. So. Recording in progress. Hey, so I'm going to So we're learning about different minags. My wave. Okay. So. It says Arava Shava. So what does it mean that you have Arava? That you do Arava? That you do. That you do um, Hakafos. Right? So sometimes, sometimes you're going to have seven days uh, in the midst of Mikdash, seven days of Lulav and Hakafos, sometimes six days. And the Gemara is going to explain it. Okay, we, we could go and see this whole Mishnah, but we, we, we just wanted to find out what's Pshat Arava. Okay. Mm -hmm. We're just getting our uh, we're just getting our bearing over here in this Mishnah and the angels don't give us yet this man. This is the taste that they sent us. It's this low ikla. He didn't didn't arrive. Shayu Ma'avrin Elo. Oh, to make to make um like uh, an Ibra Chodesh, a full month in Elo. Oh, Echad Mila Chadashim. Or one of the months. Kishayu Rohin, the ear of the Shabbos, Shvi Yishel Arava. When they realize that Shabbos is going to be the seventh day of, like the last day of Akafos, of Oshana Raba. By the way, wait a second. Shvi is that was that October 7th this year? The last day of Hoshados? That's yeah, Pearson Tatora, yeah. Does anyone know? Yeah, that was October 7th, right? But so this is but so this is the Yom Shvi Yisrael Arava. So I guess it was not, it was October 6th this year. The Haki of Yushami, this is in Yushami. Rav Simon Mavkin Le'alid the Mechajvin Havon Daitchem the Lo Azi Tik Osa B'Shavis. Wow, Rav Simon, he was he was he was careful. He would command. He would instruct, right? Mifakeh, like from the army, he would instruct to those that were just like figuring out the years and like when the dates were and stuff. He says, give your, like, they pay the engine that it shouldn't come out, that we have to blow sofer on Shabbos. The lo asa, aravta, 
um, Aravta, Vishabta, that they don't have a problem with the air or something. Vi Dikhikton, Avdon, Tikasa, Velo, the Avdon, Aravata. But if you push it, push the Shabbos back for Rosh Hashanah, you push it out. So then it's going to turn out that they're not going to be able to do um, the seven days of Oshados. I'm still trying to figure out what this Arava is. Um, the Lord of Dun Aravta, Bajma, they imply the highest day, Yom Arava, with the Kiyashover. It implies that we're more worried about the day of Arava. Dad, maybe it's when they beat the Aravos. When did they beat the Aravos? Hashan Arava. So Hashan Arava is the seventh day? Yeah, Hashan Arava is the seventh day. And usually after all of the Luov and stuff, that's when you beat the, the Aravos. Okay, so Yom Arava, Mom is like we thought at the beginning, is Hashan Arava when you beat the Aravos. That's Yom Arava. The Valdek. Teamwork uh, makes the dream work. Seven Shubhav. minutes. Six minutes? Seven. Okay, we got this. We're going to do this those most. We just can't do this those most. The thing is over. The Lulav Gam Achtav, right? Um, so we're saying that what? Um, we'd rather have Osana Rabba than the key is over. The Lulav and the key is over and Lulav more mockery than Lulav itself. The Gam Achtav, and even now, Anu Mechashvin. We make the cheshma. We make the we we decide the days, the the, the weeks, based on the cheshma that Chazal gave us. The low mikla yom arava b'shavis that it won't come out. Wow, Dad, did you know this? That even on even nowadays, that we have the we have the setup set up that shemini set that oshana Rabba will not be on Shabbos. Ah, I never knew that. Did anyone here know that? Rivka, did you know that? That, that, that like we have it set up in the in the calendar that never will will um Oshana Rabba fall out on Shabbos. Oshana Rabba is such an important day in Am Yisrael. Who could have believed this? Who could have thought that the Ashtober be a little more important than Shaiper and Lulav is smacking those little clapping the Ar- Aravais? Clapping the Aravais? More important than Shaiper and Lulav? Hold on, Dad. You want some nachas? Look at this nachas. Oh, I hope I have it. The middle is here. Okay, I got this with my sister first. Mira. Oh, whoops. I got this with my sister Dalyerti from Safaria. She gives me an arava chavut. She said it's a good shmira. I'm like, you okay, or whatever. But like, I'm just joking. I love my sister, and so I also have to say that. Okay. So, anyways, um. So it's more Machmir than Shofar and Lulav, the, the Arava? Um, Lo Chayshina and Abba Bisha, Yom Rishon, De Araisa. Even though the first day is De Araisa, and we're going to miss the opportunity to do Shofar and Lulav, it's going to fall out on Shabbos, and we're going to miss Shofar De Araisa, Lulav De Araisa, that outside the base of Mikdash is only on the first day, and we're not going to set up the calendar that we can have that De Araisa, yes. Shofar and Lulav. But we're going to set up the calendar that we can have this minag of 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 beating the Aravais. Of Oshana Rabba? It's a Bella. What a question. The Teba. The Yoma Rabba Shu Zecha Le Mikdash Ba'alba. Yoma Rabba is just a remembrance from when we had the base of Mikdash. Custom of the Prophet. That's what we're worried about? The Ahani, they are raised, but on these they are raised as Shaifer and Lula. We're not worried about Rivka. You're looking along in the in the in the in the tasteless in the phone. You can you can find it on uh one second. You gotta yeah your... for sure. This is very no question. Okay. The um the make this Bahama Khajira. The Ahari the Arise Alokajan, the Yish Loma so we can explain. The Irakanami, the Ahari the Xivi Bahajan, the low as the Pakuke boo. So those it says right in the Torah are shy for Lula. And a person and, and, and Chazal is not gonna be and people are not gonna be like, oh, it's not a big deal. It's just shy for just Lula. And therefore we can have them fall out of Shabbos, but beating clapping the Aravais, which is just a minag to remember the base of Mikdash. So there you have to like we have to make sure that we don't lose out. 
This is an amazing Tosos. To I'm so excited. It says, uh, uh, they might get confused. They might like be like not so not so sure about it and not so like devout. The old the the subject of the two 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 days of 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 uh, of Galions is from a subject. The he mikla yom rizo mishabes the first day of our Shabbos in shofar but the legabre. The Tokyo Mishani, they're still doing it on the second day. Even though there was an Indian that they would make one day in the case when the Adam would come early, they would still do only one day, even in Eretz Israel, in the time that the that the that the Chodesh was Nikva Ayde Re'iyas Adam. We go Mago Bechutzlar at the Chutzlar at Adin Shayomi. They do two days of Al Shmizel Arava. But um um Shvi Shal Arava, aka um when you clap the Arava is so Shara Raba, the laser el khar yoga just one day, the low Fjalami of it hashmimi of something you can't make the next day of something with me to yonder because the judge of itself it's uh Shmini Asaras. If I abutal gamre, Mr. Khakas Torah's Arava, the people would forget the Torah's the Arava. And so, therefore, we have the Midag of Arava, and we set up the calendar that it, we should never have it fall out on Shabbos. So, obviously, don't forget about clapping the Aravais. That is that amazing? But it makes you wonder what is the importance of beating the Arava, Son of Son Araba, that it goes above the Shofar and Rosh Hashanah itself, unless we have the basic Midrash in your shrine. It's just unbelievable. Unbelievable. Clapping the Aravais takes precedence in, in some way it over Mamish these Deoraisas. But that's what Tosla says. He says because the Deoraisas we're not going to forget. And also we're going to make up the chauffeur and the Lula on the next day. Okay, fine. So we're only going to get the Deoraisas version because Deoraisa, right? But we do say Deoraisas version. We don't say Minhag version. Yeah. But it is a minag. The second day of Yantav is just a minag. And still, we're like, yo, but you know what else is a minag? Clapping the Aravais. Okay, Hashem should clap our enemies like yeah. Aravais. Oh, and we should be, we should be, Hashem should guard us. Oh, you know, Hashem should look over all the Ami Israel. The Arava Chavuta that I got from Tali. And I've been carrying it in my in my wallet for like three years. It's a segula for protection during travels. He said, she will hold this to be saved from fright also. And so I have a mamish and a rubber that was that was clapped. Hashem loves the clapped Aravos. Ami Yisrael yeah. loves the clapped Aravos so much that even, okay, we have a Deiraisa, a little of a Deiraisa of Suk, yeah, but but let's just make sure that we never forget about the clapping of the Aravais. Because what happens after we clap the Aravos? Where do they go? On top of the on top of the Arakodesh. And so where how does the yid grow sometimes? It's gotta be going through the clapping and get and get and it goes through life and and that's what makes him great. It's called Cray Pride. Insaner schemes, then by Invader Z. Three mice were made to be beelined by faith to see.